just doing another quick update. Um, I've changed most things in the rack now, apart from the UPS. So, just another quick video, really. Um, so, this is a switch that I've now got. Um, probably going to keep this now. Um, I like it. It's the DGS 1510 20. There's 20 ports on the switch. 16 of those are the copper RJ45 ports. Two are SFP ports and then two SFP plus 10 gigabit ports. Um, underneath there, I've got a Cisco ASA 5510. It's got a Security Plus license on there and the SSM10. And that's just going into my fiber connection. Underneath, I've still got the switched PDU and the automatic transfer switch going to both UPSs you can see that. Underneath now I've got a DL385P Gen 8 so that's the AMD DL380 uh, generation 8. It's got 12 large form factor bays so I've got the same 10 Western Digital Red 3TB drives and the same two Samsung SSD boot drives. I've got a two port 10 gig flexible LOM card in the back so I don't need to use any of the PSI um, PCI ports. Um, I mean that's not really too important to me but it came with the dual port 10 gig card so that was handy. I could sell the Brocade 1020. And underneath that is still the same APC SMT 1500 RMI 2U. That's a 1.5 KVA UPS. And underneath that, the 1 KVA Liebert PSI UPS. They're both going into the automatic transfer switch there uh, to allow for redundancy. So my connection speed is still the same, I'm on TalkTalk Talk Business and I'm getting about 55 to 60 down and 10 to 15 up. And the main use for the DL385P, um, it's got one 6 core AMD processor in there and 64 gigs of RAM. So it's running Windows Server 2012 R2 data center edition. It's virtualized and the main use for the cloud storage is Tenido. So if you have any questions or comments or tips, just leave them in the comments. And if you like the video, if you could press the like button, I'd appreciate that.